This is your ITB Media Daily Crypto Brief for Friday, August 28, 2020. Subscribe to IT Biometrics for daily cryptocurrency headlines. In mainstream financial news, CNBC reports, widespread overconfidence is putting investors in a dangerous situation, Invesco's Christina Hooper warns. Bloomberg headline, NASPERS backed Luno takes Bitcoin trading exchange to Australia. The Asia Times reports, billions in crypto flowing out of China. Wall Street Journal headline, US moves to seize cryptocurrency accounts linked to North Korean heists. Forbes headline, Fidelity as a 1,000 pound Bitcoin gorilla in the making. In social media headlines, Altcoin Daily, YouTube, hosts a video titled, Don't Be Fooled. Cryptocurrency will make a lot of people very rich as United States dollars inflation getting worse. The Moon YouTube reports, warning, this changes everything for Bitcoin. Data Dash YouTube posts a video titled, Altcoins Pullback. Here's what I'm watching. On Crypto Zombie YouTube, Prime XBT Exchange Tutorial, How to Long or Short Bitcoin, FX, Gold Copy Leverage Trading, Review. In Crypto Publications Headlines, Coin Telegraph reports, Bitcoin Trader sees six bullish signs for Bitcoin after Fed non-event. Coindesk.com headline, Whistleblower kidnapped in Ukraine after accusing crypto firm of exit scam. Cryptonews.com reports on its front page, updated Bitcoin coin swap protocol design spurs further discussion. This has been your ITB Media Daily Crypto Brief for Friday, August 28, 2020. If you want more global cryptocurrency news and real-time alerts, hit the subscribe button now and follow IT Biometrics on social media. ITB Media is a division of IT Biometrics, a leader in security for online transactions and cryptocurrency storage using biometric authentication. Learn more at itbiometrics.com. You should not treat any news or information from ITB Media as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a particular investment strategy. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Before investing consider seeking advice from your own financial or investment advisor.